Hi, my name's Lindy and welcome to the channel. My website is www.lindycowling.co.uk. Email is info at lindycowling.co.uk. And the title of the short video today is Compatible Conscious Connections. What are they? Compatible Conscious connections, what are they? It's a bit of a mouthful, that one. Uh, okay, so in answer to a question that I've been asked a couple of times within the last week, again, what are compatible conscious connections or matching conscious connections, which is the same thing? So this is a connection in connection with your awakening, a connection in connection with your ascension into the heart, and it is a compatible vibration or frequency. The person is a compatible vibration or frequency. They are exuding a compatible vibration or frequency. That is in very close alignment or is a match for yours. Like two different points on the same wave band, a resonant match. A compatible conscious connection or a matching aspect of consciousness does not have to have anything to do with soul history with one another, past lives with one another, karma with one another, doesn't have to do with anything to do with the soul. It doesn't mean to say that you can't have a compatible conscious connection or matching consciousness that you have had history with so it doesn't it's not ruling that out and saying oh no that it's it doesn't mean to say there wasn't but really at that point of consciousness you've gone beyond that it isn't the point to resurrect in a way or fix or heal anything to do with soul history it is matching consciousness so Really, the soul aspect of it doesn't come into it. It's not to do with that side of it. It's a resonant matching frequency through the vibratory human experience of another person, a matching person that is running this as an aspect or not an aspect really, as who they are. So it's a direct match or a close match, close enough that it's compatible. Compatible in the sense that the matching consciousness connections, the compatible consciousness connections, are really to do with the fast tracking route onto one becoming totally conscious, totally the embodiment of who they are, the authentic them, minus all the belief systems about their own identity, all the programming, all the cultural things, everything's almost stripped back to recognizing who they are within all of those things and if they resonate with them or not. It's the authentic, stripped back, pure, loving, unified, whole you without the influence of any other aspects of programming or brainwashing that has taken place through your lives. So... In other words, it's the real you, it's the true you.
and a matching aspect of consciousness is a direct match for that because they have also reached a point in their own evolution where they are at the pinnacle or the precipice or the start, you know, somewhere along that spectrum of becoming the authentic or them, the, the unified them, the zero point consciousness them, them minus all the other influences. So it's that purity of frequency. Yes, it is all about awakening, but to be honest, at that level of matching consciousness or compatible consciousness, you're already on a fast track route to, to coming fully into your heart, to even kind of be in that arena. Usually before then, but not always, but usually before you hit that category, you may have had other experiences like soul experiences, very um, human experiences, very perhaps challenging experiences. You may have met catalysts, you may have been involved with soul connections of some description, you may have even been involved in Twin Flame Union. Uh, not everybody comes through those routes to hit matching conscious connections by any means. I've worked with many people that have just activated, if you like, right at the top spectrum there of compatible consciousness. Doesn't really, they're not really going to go down the soulmate route. They don't have to. The reason they've activated in that way is because they've imprinted on templates such as awakening templates, such as new relationship paradigm templates, such as twin flame union templates, so that they don't have to go through that other route, that there is a mass imprinting on templates of consciousness going on at the moment. And that is part of the reason the fastest moving category and the category statistically in terms of age range between the age of 31 and about 39 is that category of matching consciousness or compatible consciousness or you know new energy i call it new energy connections because it's all the things i'm talking about uh the most common age range for that to be happening, and it's very fast tracking through, is between the age of 31 and 39. Um, it doesn't mean that it isn't happening to people outside that age range by a year or two or a few years, but the like the mean ratio or the the most common numbers in that spectrum or age range between 31 and 39. So that it is happening to people either side of that, but that's you know, predominantly it's a worldwide pattern, those ages that are fast tracking through it or coming online in that age already for, for matching consciousness connections because they've imprinted on the reworking of the old relationship paradigm so they don't have to crawl through the old way round, learning it, doing it through soul connections, catalyst connections, you know, all of this kind of thing. They don't have to do it that way. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, compatible conscious connections or compatible consciousness connections or matching conscious aspects or matching aspects of consciousness is all the same thing that I'm talking about here. It is someone that is matching you in their rate of evolution. And they are at a point and you are at a point where the connection, shall we say, or the expression, shall we say, or the complementary dance that you're doing, shall we say, has no necessity to go through a polarized soul form of expression. It doesn't really have to do any, anything to do with 
experience it because you've been soulmates or like I say, you know, the timelines or twin flames. It's not to say that you're not those things, but almost all the time it's really nothing to do with that. That's not what it is. The way I explain it, and I've explained this on the channel before in other videos, but I'm going to say it again because it's the best way I know of explaining it, is picture an oak tree and then you are a leaf on that oak tree, a matching vibratory consciousness, somebody that matches you in your frequency, in your awakening, in your process, in your vibration, is another leaf on that same oak tree. But an oak tree never has just two leaves on it. It is covered in infinite amounts of leaves, covered in leaves. So you are a leaf, they are a leaf, and you're matching leaves from the same oak tree. But there are infinite possibilities of other matching leaves. It doesn't take away from this leaf, but there are infinite possibilities. So it's not the mindset of it all being about the one leaf. There are infinite possibilities of matching leaves or matching consciousness. Some people would say, and I've also said this on camera again, but I'm going to repeat it. Some people would say, well, isn't that twin flames then? If you're matching leaves on the same oak tree. My definition, and I'm going to repeat it again, and I hesitated there because just before I was about to say what I was going to say, I fell into it again and to test where I'm going to come from this, and I'm totally resonate with what I'm about to say again. The definition that we understand as human beings is twin flames or twin flame union do not just match in consciousness and vibration on the top levels. They also come down into human form as the polarized version of same soul in the expressions of other human bodies, a polarized form of soul. For all the reasons that I've covered in the last four years on the channel, matching aspects of consciousness do not come down in the polarized soul form. They don't need to. That is not their format. That is not their plan, their blueprint, their mission format. They don't do it with each other because they're already at a point in their evolution where they've worked their way up to it or activated already at that point because they've imprinted on other templates of consciousness like Twin Flame Union or other awakening templates in order for them to connect consciously with others. I hope that makes sense. So on that note, I will love you and leave you. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for resonating. Thank you for supporting this channel and me as the channel in all the ways that you do. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you, guys. Bye.